Ever wonder what a sissy squat is? In this video, I will show you exactly what it is and how to do it. Hey guys, so this exercise is called sissy squats and this has nothing to do with being a sissy, but I thought this was a good uh, example of another uh, movement that you could do for your lower body, uh, either at your home gym, like this, or at a commercial gym as an accessory to your foundational movements. So check out these uh, videos and I'm gonna go through how you do it, what body parts it hits, and some considerations on the technique and how you might apply this to your training. So being squats, obviously this is a lower body exercise and the primary mover is gonna be your quads. And you can see here that you're really getting those knees out. We'll talk more about that when I go in the side view, but uh, your calves are also a secondary muscle activated here. And really because we're isolating those quads, your glutes and your hamstrings don't get a whole lot of stimulation, uh, just a little bit. Uh, but you can see here what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a little bit narrower than uh, shoulder width uh, stance for with your feet. And you're going to want to have something for good support and balance. That's going to help you later as you fatigue. Uh, here's a side view. Now you can see what you're doing is you're really pushing those knees forward and you're feeling a real good stretch in those quads. So you're leaning back and keeping the tension on the quads the whole time. Uh, at the top, don't relax. You want to keep that tension on the quads. And uh, uh, here I'm using an incline bench for support. You can do that, or as you saw on the other side, uh, using the, the uh, rack. But again, you want something that's stable, uh, that's not gonna move on you. Now, let's focus on your feet. Like I said, you're gonna get up on the balls of your feet there so you can drive those knees forward. You can see here that uh, your calves are being worked and then also um, you know, you're staying up on the balls of those feet. Some people will put like a, uh, a board or something underneath, but I don't feel that's uh, helpful. Um, so I just keep them on the balls of my feet. Now you put your hand on your chest and as you see here, if you want to, you can hold a plate there on your chest and you wanna do it versus like say a dumbbell hanging from your side so you can stay balanced. But you're not gonna probably need much weight on these. This is a tough exercise, works great as a superset. Uh, and, and you don't need a whole lot of weight on this. So, you know, you look at it and it might think that it puts a lot of pressure on the knees and it does. And you can modify this uh, to your range of motion. You know, here you can see I'm not going down quite as deep, but I'm still keeping that tension on the quads. As a general rule of thumb with all movements, if it hurts, don't do it. You can do some rest pause where you just hold it there and keep the tension on. So know your limits, try it out, should be comfortable. But again, this is a higher rep exercise. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button, uh, share, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, keep making everyday count.